guys, this is Issues with Toddy Winskip. Guess who I am? Guess who you aren't? That's right, I'm Toddy Winskip. Coffee, tea, matcha, what are you drinking? I got my San Pellegrino, pomegranate, and orange mixed up drink here. How you doing? It's like 4.48 Eastern Standard Time. 4.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I am... At that job that gives me the extra money. The OT job. The job that started this job. Guys, what's going on? What's going on? Guys, we have to do a discovery video on um, a specimen known as Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Now, there was a video of Jip, Gypsy, getting ready for her fiancé, though you have to remember, she's still married. So, this specimen is able to take on a fiancé even though she's still married. That's kind of weird because most specimens wait to get a divorce or wait till they're single or don't even get married and then find their person. She says that this guy's her person, but she's not even a person. She's just a specimen. Guys, I want you to see how she invites us into the privacy of her own bedroom. Boudoir. Armoire. Armchair armpit mating space the place she gets funky to get ready for what she thinks is going to be a date with her person Ken guys check this out check this out because I think it's really it's almost R rated because she doesn't have a shirt And you know, that's not a bathing suit top. It's actually a brassiere. And she's got a lot of booby to stick in that brassiere. And she's letting the world see her boobies. Now, if she didn't have boobies, the question would be, would she still be showing her top off like that? Probably not. If she was flat-chested, she probably wouldn't be showing it off like it was something. I got to admit, the boobies a bit impressive. It's too bad that they're attached to her because that's not good. So, guys, she rubs her belly here. As if she's ready to make a wish. How does rubbing her belly have to do with getting ready for her date? I don't understand. For her birthday dinner date with Ken, rubbing her belly as if she's making a wish. Is she wishing she's actually pregnant? Is she pregnant? Is she wishing he won't notice she's pregnant? Is she wishing he won't notice maybe it's not his? Is she just showing us that she thinks she's pregnant and wants us to believe she's pregnant? Is she showing us she's pregnant? I don't know. But she's doing something. Let's see what else. And I want to look absolutely stunning. She wants to look absolutely stunning and she's rubbing her belly. Like, it kind of reminds me of when my dog, like, gets that itch that they could barely itch that's like in their um, joint of the like leg and they can't really itch it and they get up pretty high and they try to itch it and their whole body starts shaking that's what this reminds me of when she's rubbing the belly this is a species I've never come in contact with I'm not too sure I want to come in contact with Let's check out more. Being almost 24 weeks pregnant, 
finding something that flattered. 24 weeks? Come on. Finding something that flatters me is a little difficult. So if she really believes that, why is she showing us her half-naked body? Like it's something to look at. If she doesn't find that flattering, why is she sharing it with us? I call bullshit. She thinks she's hot. And that's why she's showing us that she thinks she's hot. And let's help her get ready. How do we help somebody by watching them? I'm just asking how that works for this specimen because it's beyond what we do as the human race. We usually ask people to help us by helping us do something, not by just watching us, but who knows with these with this species. Let's listen. Black always looks funny. So why does she want to look slimming while she's rubbing a big ass baby bump that could be fake and could be bought? Could be real. Too bad we'll never know until I don't know if we'll ever know because let's say she gives birth. We could think maybe she bought the baby. Maybe it's a fake baby. If she fakes some sort of something happening, then I mean, that would be really sad because that would be also pathetic and horrible. But it's too bad that that would be on our minds. That's that specimen, though. We can't believe a word she says. But we'll be blamed if something happens to the baby. It'll be social media the thing that she got on to show us and then rubbed her baby belly in our face. I heard she was afraid of the world and wanted to keep the baby safe because of the weirdos of the world. Why is she rubbing the baby's belly? This specimen is deranged, delusional, and we need to check the brain waves of this specimen. Let's listen more. Black is more flattering because it's slimming. You either want to fucking show the baby or not. Make up your mind. You're making me gain a second personality. Crazy. Crazy biatch. Don't tell anybody I said that. But maybe I'm not a fan of the puppy sleeves. I kind of don't like the way she spun around. Because it was like she was sticking her back out to make the belly be more prominent. And she's not a fan of the puffy sleeves. But she's not in a dressing room. She's in her house. Why'd she buy the shirt if she's not a fan of the puffy sleeves? Again, this specimen is definitely something to be examined over and over again. To be examined over and over again under a microscope a gigantic microscope you can put her ass anywhere put a fucking telescope on top of her she needs to be explored and examined because most people if they're not a fan of something they don't purchase the item she might like being explored and examined though i don't know Well, did you see that little dance move at the end where she kind of kicks her feet up? Is that just for that specimen? Is that designed, that little move, is it designed for just that specimen or can anybody do it? Does it take practice? Do you need permission to do it? Could you be ordered a cease and desist if you were to do it? Is there a copyright infringement on doing that little dance move? Did you notice she didn't really stick her tongue out of her mouth all that much? So I'll do it for her. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I hope I made your day. Be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Always, always, always be kind. Always find time to laugh. All right, guys, take care.